Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to a brand new video, another bag centric video. Today's video, I'm going to be rounding up the best work bags for you, but this is the laptop edition. I've specifically tailored this video for those of you that cut a laptop with you to and from work. And I have a variety here to suit a range of different industries, different dress codes, whatever vibe it is that you want to channel, as well as device size, because size does matter. To illustrate the functionality of each of the bags that I'll be talking you through, I've got three different size laptops as well as my iPad that I'll be popping into each of the bags so you can see how they sit and whether or not you're going to be okay with it. In addition, I'll be sharing all of the necessary tidbits that you need to know about each of the bags, pricing, what they're made of, how I've gotten along with them with day-to-day -day use, and I'll even go to the lengths of body shaming them. I'm going to whip out my kitchen scales, I'm going to weigh each of the bags. Now the price range of this lineup is varied. When it comes to bags, I am one to embrace an investment purchase after doing the necessary due diligence, of course. But I have built up my bag collection over the years just because I think that they are beautiful pieces. But the one common trait that's shared by all of these bags is that they were all made to last and the quality is evident in their construction. I've got seven bags that I'm going to walk you through and I'm going to go in ascending price order. And so let's do a quick roll call. <coughs> First up is the July Everyday Tote, and this one retails for 125 Australian. Next up, we have the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack. This one retails for 239 Australian dollars. They've also got a bougie Luxie premium version that is 419. Then we have the Everlane Studio Bag. This one retails for 250 US dollars and roughly 420 Australian. In the middle of the class, we have the Tory Birch Perry Tote. This one retails for 448 US dollars and anywhere between 500 to 700 Australian dollars because unfortunately the retailers have inconsistent pricing with this one. Makes things really fun. Moving up on the price scale, we have the Oleata Marina bag. This one retails for 525 US dollars and roughly 760 Australian. Next up, I've got my Celine Carbis tote in the small size. This one retails for 1850 USD and 2750 Australian dollars. And last but certainly not least is the Celine So Sangle bag. This one retails for 2500 US dollars and 3700 Australian dollars. I did buy this one secondhand for roughly 1800 but I've put it last on the price scale because that's how much it retails you. Great work class, doing very well there. I'm rather proud of them. Okay, so let's get stuck into the nitty gritty. Let's just empty out all of the gear first. We went to a kids party on the weekend and brought all of these retro things that came out of the pinata. The first cab off the rank, or the bag off the bag stand, the first bag that I wanted to share with you is the July Everyday Tote. And this one is in the small size. They also have a larger size. And this one is made from a really durable cotton that has a coating on top just to protect it. And the darker colors, the navy and the black, they have the silver hardware detail, whereas the lighter colors have the gold hardware detail. Now the bag is very good on the compartment front. It's got that one major compartment, but then it's got a separate dedicated 14 inch laptop section on the side. It's also got an internal side pocket and there is a zip closure as well. And so if security is a thing for you, then you know that you can completely zip up the bag like so and just keep everything protected. There's also the external slip pockets on the side for extra security, they've got like a magnetized closure as well. And the bag is just really smart looking while being quite casual at the same time. I like that vibe about it. Now the handles here, you can wear as a top handle and hold like this. But for me, it also fits on the shoulder like so, which I find more comfortable to wear when I'm carting a laptop in this bag because it can get quite heavy. There are also these two hooks here on either side of the bag where you can actually connect to your own crossbody strap if that's how you prefer to wear your bag. The bag doesn't come with a crossbody strap which I would have liked to have seen but that probably explains the price tag it's quite reasonable considering how well that it's made and if you're traveling with the bag then this is quite nifty there's this pass-through section here where you can actually slot this over your luggage handles which means everything stays neat and all together and the bag is offered in a heap of smart neutral shades it's got a really lovely minimal aesthetic to it while at the same time being rather functional so yeah, let's pop this bag through the device test and weigh it and see how it goes The 
next bag that I have to share with you is one that I have talked about several times now on my channel and it's my only backpack in my bag collection. It's the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack. This bag I bought last year and I have made really good use out of it. It is one of my most used bags for work. It's called a tote pack because you can wear it both as a tote with these top handles here as well as a backpack. And these straps you can actually unclip and shove into here if you want to have more of a smarter look. On the compartments front, this bag passes with flying colours. There are side pockets here where you can put your drink bottles. I like to put my drink bottle and then I like to put my glasses case on the other side. And there's also like a mesh pocket where you can put all of your tech things, your charging cables. They always get lost at the bottom of your bag. And there's also a dedicated laptop sleeve that's padded. And on the front, there's also these two side pockets here with a little key hook where you can attach your keys and it just makes it a really functional and easy bag. This bag comes in so many different colours. Every time I check the website there are new colours available and so I think it's just one of those really popular styles. And this bag comes in two different sizes, a smaller size and a larger size. I have the larger size. The additional capacity means that I can fit my laptop as well as my gym gear in the bag and it's just all in one neat bag when I'm travelling into work. I've also been caught in the rain in this bag and the bag is made from a water resistant material though I haven't been caught in heavy downpour and I probably wouldn't test it out anyway because the water resistant fabric ends up absorbing some of the water but it was nice to discover after being caught in the rain that everything in my bag stayed really nice and dry. This little contraption here is a really cool magnetic clip and it is from Clipster and it's a hat clip which I use to attach my caps or my Akubra hat and it just stays just in shape not shoved in a bag and it's really secure with this magnetic clip. I always take a cap with me particularly if I'm walking into work but know that it's also strong enough to also take an Akubra. Let's run you through the device test shall we? Next up on the price scale, we have the Everlane Studio Bag. I think that the full name is the Everlane Italian Leather Studio Bag. And so, can you guess what it's made of? Italian leather, correct. I'm just gonna take out some of the tissue paper, which I use when I'm storing the bag just to keep its shape. There's some form of stuffing in every single one of these bags because that's what you need to do with your bags, people. Okay, so here's what it looks like inside the bag. It's rather simple. There's only one internal pocket, a zip pocket for security. And the closure of the bag is just this stud button closure here. As you can see, the bag isn't lined, but it has this sort of brushed leather effect, which is quite durable. And I don't baby my bags. I've shoved quite a few things in here and it's in really good nick. I'm quite impressed with it. There's also this external pocket here with a little design feature here with this little bunching up detail and I use this to hold my phone and my keys and my wallet just for easy access but the strap is adjustable which is great if you're petite like me I have it on the shorter setting and it just sits very neatly underneath your arm like so so this bag with its bucket bag shape and its thick strap reminds me a lot of the Celine So Sangle bag, which I also have. And I always recommend getting this bag as a dupe if you have had your eye on the Celine So Sangle bag, but it's not within your price range at the moment. I think this is a really nice alternative, but there are also some improvements to the bag as well, to the design, like the adjustable strap, which make it just worthwhile as well. I have this one in the olive color and it's an old season color now. I think this bag is about three years old. My mum also has this exact bag. She loved this one so much that she ended up getting one herself and it's her day-to-day -day bag. And so yeah, it's just a really well-made and reasonably priced bag, particularly on the mid-range scale, considering the premium fabrics that's used. So yeah, let's put this one through the device test and see how it goes.
The next bag that I have to share with you is one that I have a real soft spot for. This is the Tory Birch Perry Tote in the larger size. And I just think that this is a fantastic bag. I've got all this stuffing in there at the moment just to retain the shape. So I'm going to take it out so I can show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so it's a triple compartment tote. It's got a zipped pocket in the middle that actually fits a laptop and then two pockets on the side that are just very roomy, as you can see. The zipped pocket at the moment is housing the charm, the bag charm that originally came with the bag and attaches like so. But I'm not a huge fan of red and so I just took it off and I simply just store it in the bag. But the new season colour combination has a lighter blue or a purple type charm and I think that looks much better. Now this bag is offered in so many different colours and their colour combinations are constantly expanding. I think that probably just goes to the fact that the bag is just an extremely popular style and because I've used it for this many years I can certainly say why. It's the bag that I always recommend to people that are building their work wardrobes, particularly in a corporate environment where you want to look a little bit dressy but you want a smart looking bag that's durable and that will last this is certainly a bag that I think you should really have on your radar if you're in the hunt for your very first work bag it's also made of a really nice grained leather and I don't baby this bag either I plonk it on the floor at work and it's still in really good nick and there are no scratches the lining is always like a brighter contrasty tone and this one has a real Saffiano type effect to it and the base of the bag, it's just plain, there's no studs, but as you can see, there's a few little stains and things there, but it's in pretty good nick considering this bag is four years old now. This is actually the very first tote bag that I ever bought as well. At the time, I remember looking at the Louis Vuitton Neverfull as well as the Saint Laurent bag, but then I encountered this and I have been so pleased. This is more of a contemporary label type bag, but I think that it is just as well made as my high-end designer bags. I've even contemplated getting this bag in other colors because I love it so much. And every time I use it, it just brings me a lot of joy. So let's put some devices in there and let's weigh it. Okay, more than halfway now guys, doing well, making good time. Bag number five is the Oleada Marina Bucket Bag. And this one has been in my collection now for, yeah, six months, I'd say six months. It's the perfect neutral bag, light neutral bag, in comparison to all the dark colors that I have in my collection. Inside it's got this one major compartment, but very handily, it comes with this pochette, which connects to the bag, but you can also detach it. And you can fit your wallet and your keys if you are heading out for a lunch break and things like that and just running errands. It's just a really handy thing to have. Very Louis Vuitton-esque, I appreciate. The bag is made from a really durable leather. It reminds me quite a bit of the Saffiano leather that's used by Prada in their handbags as well. It's got that coating over the top. It's got this pebbling detail. It's not shiny, it's a nice matte finish. The bag comes with these top handles as well as this shoulder strap, which is adjustable. It can be very easily worn on the shoulder. And because I'm petite, I can also adjust this to wear this as a crossbody. The bag sits quite high though. And I think that if you're a bit taller, then you might struggle wearing it as a crossbody. It might be a bit too short for you, the strap length that is. But yeah, there are multiple ways that you can wear this bag. The shape of the bag, as you can see, means that it's larger at the top and it narrows down at the base, which means that it's quite restrictive in the size of the device that you can put in. And so my larger laptop doesn't fit, but let me just let the device test do the talking and also weigh the bag so you can see for yourself. bag that I have in my lineup is the Celine Carver Stoat, which I have in the small size. This bag has been one of my most used bags for work. Anytime I want to achieve more of a dressy look, then this is a bag that I rely on. And it's just a really beautifully minimal bag, as you can see. There's not much to it 
but it says a lot without saying too much, if you get my drift. These straps here on the side can be adjusted and so you can actually bring the bag in a little bit and achieve a different shape. But I really like just how it looks just loose like this. This is the bag liner that I use just to keep everything compartmentalized. But I'll show you what the bag looks like without the bag liner on the inside. There we go. It's just the world is your oyster, I guess, when it comes to how you wanna use your bag. It comes with this internal flat pocket and some slip pockets on the side for the small things that you want to keep secure. But that's pretty much it to it. It's a really simple bag. This bag has been around for a really long time as well. Thank goodness Eddie Salman didn't get rid of this bag design when he took over from Phoebe. I bought this bag when it was new Celine, so there's no accent over the E sadly, but the bag is still very much old Celine vibes, very much my jam. So yeah, you know the drill. It's device test time and let's body shame this bad boy. last but certainly not least how many times have we looked at that cliche is my celine so sangle bag this is my bucket bag of dreams so actually means bucket in french and so it's very aptly named this one i've had in my collection now for three years i managed to nab this one pre-loved i couldn't believe my lucky stars that i was able to do that this bag is from old celine it's got the accent over the e for those of you that love phoebe and inside i'll just show you what it's like just take out my bag liner. I like using these because I find that they protect the shape of the bag, but also they just make the bag a little bit more functional. And this is what it looks like. Oh my God. This is what it looks like inside. It's just one big compartment. There is an internal zip pocket for your smalls that need a little bit additional security, but externally it's got four side pockets, just little slip pockets here. I normally pop my phone in there when I'm using it but these are quite handy. The bag is just really simplistic in its design. The bag also comes in a smaller size, but the design in the smaller style doesn't have these external pockets. I just like the bigger version much better. Now this bag for the past couple of years, since Eddie Slaman took over, has been living in the threat of being discontinued and it's just been living on the brink of extinction. So a lot of people have been hunting for these pre-loved, even though they're still available at a few different Celine boutiques, as well as 24S, I believe. And so you can still get this, but I have a feeling that you won't be able to get it soon. At some stage, it will be discontinued. I don't know when. I thought it was being discontinued last year, but that wasn't the case. But I think that as newer designs get introduced, then it's likely that this bag will be phased out, which is really sad if you're an old Celine fan. Another old Celine bag that I'm constantly using, which isn't laptop friendly, is my Celine Trio bag, which has been discontinued. And so everyone's just scrounging around the pre-love market to get a few of those. But this bag, thankfully, is still available. For now and so just know that the bag comes with this one thick strap this webbing strap with this leather detail and gold hardware the bag strap cannot be adjusted which is the one gripe i have about the bag design that said i find that the length is okay i don't have an issue with wearing it it doesn't affect the comfort of the bag but the everlane studio bag which i always say is a great dupe for the slim so angle that can be adjusted and i like the fact that it can be also, the webbing strap is made from a tightly woven wool, I believe. And there is a little bit of fraying and a little bit of pilling there, which is bound to happen because it's a fabric. I think that it adds a bit of character actually, because I have used this bag quite a bit, but every so often I will attack it with the fabric shaver, the lint shaver, just to give it a little bit of a spruce up and have it feel a little bit more rejuvenated. But overall, I love this bag. I think it's a beautiful, minimal design. I think it's also very functional when you have the bag liner in there. It's made of a really durable, pebbled leather. So on that note, let's shove some devices in there. Let's wait this thing.
always find it useful in these types of videos to share a recap of your favorites or the most used items. And I do have a top three that I wanted to share with you. The first is my Celine Carbis Tote. I think this ticks all the boxes when it comes to a traditional work bag. It's just a bag that I just really love using and it's quite lightweight as well and durable. The next bag that's probably no surprise to you is the Tory Boats Perry Tote. I think for the price tag, the quality is incredible. I love this bag. I think it's excellent. And then lastly, it's my Bellroy tote pack. I love this little setup I have here with my clip stuff, but it's just a bag that I have really enjoyed using and it's made commuting into work really comfortable. And I think in an age now where dress codes have become a little bit more casual in the office, backpacks are much more acceptable I'm finding and I'm just really enjoying using it. And so that ends my roundup of laptop friendly bags that you can use for work. If you have any questions, then pop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you like this video, then hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you did. Be sure to check out my other work bag videos as well. I've also got reviews about the Celine bags specifically. I've got dedicated videos about those, which you should check out as well. If you haven't already and you want to hang out more with me, who wouldn't, then you should hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!